Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday Night Kaizo Race for July the 13th. Friday the 13th, that is. And uh, while we don't have a spooky level for you, we hope to bring you some solid entertainment. We've got our hottest racers here on screen. We have our reigning Kaizo King, Davey. We've got Brick underscore Man. We've got QC underscore Shadow Muscles. And we have Akos underscore Eos. All of which I'm pretty sure have been kings already. Um, so that's good. And our race is set to go in two minutes. I'm going to be your host. I am Gumjaw. I am also the creator of the race this week. So I have a very in-depth knowledge of everything that uh, went on in the creation of this level. And I hope that I can bring you some solid commentary. Uh, get ready, everybody. This race is going to be starting momentarily using my computer as my timer. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. And go. And let me get our race timer started so I don't forget. Alright, and the racers are uh, gonna be off momentarily. It looks like QC is the first one to pull the trigger. Hopping right in. Taking advantage. So if you look on QC's screen, uh, you, he starts immediately getting seven keys. So I'm using keys as coins in this level to lure you and show you where to go. Because this is a full rush Kaizo. It is called Rush Percent. Um, if you've come to my stream, you have a you definitely have an idea of uh, what's in store for you here. Uh, the little energy pickups on the ground represent places where the player is supposed to be dropping Rush. Not exactly, but just to give them a hint. And the keys are meant just to guide them around. That's why we give them seven keys right off the bat, so it is not something that is, uh, like they're wondering, do I need to dodge the keys or whatever. Uh, this first jump here with the UFO is trying to teach the players that uh, the UFOs won't move when you do it with Rush. And looks like Brickman is the first one to make it to the next screen. I'm going to refresh Davey here. Um, I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully he's still around and is actually playing the game. Is Davey in there? Okay, looks like Davey's in. Uh, three of our four are into the next room already. This is the first real Kaizo section past the tutorial. Uh, you can see it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta follow the floating keys, flip off with that top flapjack, and then make your way over to the top right corner. Now, for anyone who doesn't know how Rush physics work, Rush will only land if he's kind of in a Mega Man's height zone of you. So imagine a, uh, uh, I won't say a zone extending infinitely to the left and right of Mega Man at his height. Rush will only land if he, uh, in that kind of area when you press the rush drop button when he teleports in. So wherever Mega Man is on the screen when you press the button, that's kind of his landing zone. Otherwise, he'll just fly all the way through it. Uh, Davey having some trouble. Looks like his stream. Everyone else making their way through. Brickman looks like he has the biggest grasp on things. Is he the first one to go on? Yes, he is. Moving into the second area... Um, in this area, you have to do a little bit of back and forth. So you're going to have to do a little bit of a rush staircase up to that UFO. And then the UFO is going to come down and to the left. From there, you're going to jump off, drop another rush, and fly all the way over to the left for victory. Looks like both Akos and QC have an idea of what's going on. And now it's all about the execution. Brickman taking a moment to consider things. Looks like he wasted the UFO. Oh, gets the double spring and goes right over without the UFO. Good job. Got a little bit of a snake on the right hand side here. These guys, just to scare you, because right at the top of this ladder is our next checkpoint. Gonna refresh Davy again one more time while I talk about this room that Brickman has entered. So, the objective of this room, you gotta go all the way to the left 
get yourself some bullets on that fanboy so he stops blowing you to the left and then come all the way back and ride the uh, I guess I'm gonna call them three and four you can see the ones that Brickman just stood on you want to ride those two up using rush to bounce up to the higher one and go to the right so it's you got to kind of manage your rush usage here so that you don't trigger the UFOs that you don't want to use yet. If that makes any sense. Alright, reloading Davy again. If anyone in chat can find me, um, someone who's streaming that isn't Davy, uh, just so we can replace him if he keeps lagging. Alright, Brickman experimenting with things. Looks like he got the double jump there to not trigger the first two. So you can land on the third one, but you don't want to hit the fourth one. The only one you can land on the first time is the second UFO here. Um, second from the left, third from the right. The one that doesn't have any of the little energy pickups on them. Those are your guides for this. Looks like QC and Echoes are still hanging out in our first room. Brickman has one whole checkpoint over top of them still trying to figure out. There he goes. Ooh. So he's got the setup, he got to those ladders, just didn't hit up to grab on to his, um, grab onto the ladders there. Lots of stuff is moving very fast here, I'm uh, kind of having a bit of a hard time following everything. Uh, let's see who else is streaming right now, we're going to throw them in, um, looks like Game Fox, Game Fox is streaming, let's throw Game Fox up. Try to refresh Davy one more time. Maybe we can force like super mega low quality. 160p. Alright, we'll stay with that and see if that holds. Davy is our king. We'd like to keep him on screen if possible. Brickman. Ooh. Sorry, that was a brick man. That was Davy. Davy almost making it over to that ladder. <laughs> Kellov mentioning that the fan guy, the fanboy room that Brickman is on, is the hardest screen. Brickman now killing the fanboy has to get all the way back up and over. Looks like we lost Davy one more time. Oh, we're back in. Okay, the, so it looks like the 160p might work for Davy. Brickman killing the fanboy off again. So he's got to jump to the far one, then back to the middle. Drop Rush on the middle. And use that to jump up to our top UFO. It's kind of a hard thing to explain. You can kind of see what it needs to do right there on screen. So that... Um, the left leftmost UFO is only going to go halfway up the screen. And it looks like Davy here, we're getting brief glimpses into the, the Kaizo King, um, has made it to the fanboy room. Meanwhile, Akos and QC are still working on getting out of the first major section. Do I have a setting lower than 160 for Davy? Can we just have three pixels? Brickman's still experimenting. He's got he's got the gist of it. He just has to get a bit of the flow in order to have those two UFOs moving kind of at the right time. Brickman up, breaking those blocks, shooting down the fanboy, moving over. Let's see if he can clutch it out. Ooh. So, one thing about those UFOs, if you drop rush on it. Too soon, Rush will actually fall through the UFO as it rises. So he's got to time it so Rush appears as the UFO is coming to a bit of a stop. Uh, he won't always fall through. Sometimes he will land properly and rise with it. I think it depends on like sub pixels. Um, once Rush is planted, then he will move with it. But uh, until then, it's a little tricky. You do have time, however, to. <laughs> to launch Rush 
on the second UFO when... Oh! Gonna interrupt. Aiko is making the jump almost on the left there. You do have enough time to wait for the UFO in uh, Brickman's stage to come to a stop before you put Rush on it. Or at least you gotta you can time Rush to land as it stops. Davey, unfortunately, still a blurry spaghetti factory. So let's see. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch off Davy here. We're gonna line up uh, Game Fox, who is not the king. Oh, I gotta turn him off. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, Brickman up, going for a second attempt. Or, uh, not a second attempt, a multiple attempt. Ooh, gets the rush bounce a little too low, doesn't quite make it further. Um, I need to find a couple things. Two, three, six, seven, two, one. making it all the way over. Unfortunately, I missed uh, the little troll jump there. So you can't actually make that big long jump. That is purely, um, that's purely just a, a false, false fall. And Davey, or sorry, Brickman, making it on to our tower climb. So this section here is a large tower climb. If you guys look on the left, it looks like Akos has made it past the first section is moving on to the fanboy area. Keeping him in, I guess, third. Someone will have to keep track of Davey for us. Brickman beginning our tower climb. This is an endurance section. Um, there's not a lot of complicated stuff. It is just a lot. And if you fall, you gotta do it all over again. So Brickman sitting in a bit of a peak area. He wants to drop down uh, below and then go off to the right. Um, if, you, if he could do that little cheese he was getting... Uh, I don't think that would actually get him anywhere. Because there's a couple uh, other UFO interactions he would need to do in order to properly advance beyond that point. Alright, QC. Going. Echoes figuring out the UFOs. Getting that pattern, trying to understand what's going on. Uh, not a robot? Yes, this is what I meant by saying using... Uh, keys as coins. Brickman on his screen. I think he's going to keep trying for that cheese. Nope, not enough height. Good good thing. That's one cheese that I didn't uh, didn't expect, so glad that it doesn't work. Happy day for me. He's got to go over to the right. Mind you, going to the right is not very hard at all, because those bombs that he was just standing on, they do respawn. Akos making his way through the fanboy room. Now, you guys can't really see it from your perspective, but that fan guy is blowing them to the left, which makes it a little harder to properly uh, set up the, your dog bounces. All right, Akos dropping the fanboy, and uh, triggers things a little too early and gets smushed up against the spikes up top. Brickman dropping down, realizing now he needs to go to the right. Moving up, now he's looking at what he needs to do. Okay, he's dropping the dog in the right spot. He needs to put Rush on those spikes and head over to the left. There's going to be a UFO that's going to raise him up to a Rush block that he needs to destroy. Um, and then head back over to the right and fly all the way to freedom. And by freedom I mean another section. Um, take a look at Akos' screen. He's got the fanboy down. He's still still aiming to go on that first platform. He needs to jump over the first platform to the second one. See how long it's going to take him to get that. QC coming up 
to our the second section in the first major area, seeing if he can get out of here. Nope, drops rush a little bit too early. You can see what I meant there, where rush will spawn in the spike sometimes. That's because Mega Man is a little still too low when he triggers it. Looks like QC is trying to use the Bomb Blast to sort of pseudo damage boost up on top. That is a little bit of cheese. No bombs in this area, that cheese ain't gonna fly anymore. Okay, QC going, does he make it? And he's over. QC heading up to the fanboy room, provided he doesn't somehow take a full, full bar of damage to these three little shocker guys. QC with the checkpoint. Game Fox, ooh, Game Fox almost had it as well, moved a little too late uh, for that rush jump. Brickman still working on that transition just north of the Flapjacks. It's stalling him a bit, giving anyone a chance to catch up. Brickman went up. I think he realized what he needed to do there. He saw the rush coil block, so now he knows when he rides that UFO. He needs to shoot down a block. Let's just look at Brickman real quick. He should be able to get there. Lickety split. You guys can uh, get a grasp of what I was talking about with that rush coil block. So there you see top right of his screen that rush coil block. He needs to shoot that down and then catch the UFO directly under him in order to get back to the rising platform. Uh, when I designed this section, one of the things I always liked in Kaizo levels was these like endurance sections, where it's not necessarily super difficult, but it's just a lot of execution that wears down on you as you go. Because nothing that's going on is incredibly precise in any way, it's just, there's, there's a lot of it. Alright, QC shooting the fanboy, he's got no platforms to go. Brickman going up to the UFO, ooh, triggers it and falls off. A little too soon. Let's see how long it takes him to realize he's got to shoot that block. I haven't seen him shoot any shots at it yet, so we're not sure if he's even uh, aware of that's what he needs to do. Hopefully he's not trying to go around it. Ikos going up, shooting the fanboy. Trying to catch up to Brickman in the tower section. Oh, Rush comes down on the left side. Not where he wants him to be. Sends him plummeting to his death. Going for round two. Brickman, meanwhile, up on the top. And he's got that platform gone. Lands on the UFO. He jumped at the end there. Okay, there he goes. Respawns the elevator. Hops over. Brickman entering new territory this next section. So, for this area... Ooh, Brickman dropped and despawned his UFO. For this area, he wants to just hang on that UFO as it descends. And that will flip the flapjack all on its own. Uh, you can jump off if you want, do a little slide twirl, but that's not necessary. Then you're going to hop over to the left and do some interesting rush shenanigans. I'm sure we'll have time to look at that while Brickman figures it out. Meanwhile, let's take a look over at e Akos, who has the majority of this puzzle locked in. He just needs to execute this final rush drop. We look it over at Game Fox here. He's still working on our first area. Looks like he's got the gist of it. Just needs to be able to make that last jump. Ooh, Akos' screen. Rush falling through the platform, denying him his opportunity to move forward. QC. QC looks like he's on the ball as well. Let's see if QC has any better luck. Oh, triggered that left platform early. That ain't going to help you. Brickman going back up to the new section. So Brickman just stands there. It'll flip over all on its own. Now he needs to jump over to the left, drop rush on that flapjack, and keep going up. Catch the UFO on the other side of some spikes. Alright, QC realizing he needs to go left first, drop rush on the platform. This may be the first time of him noticing that rush will fall through, so he's got to do a little bit of preemptive planning. Trying to keep an eye on everybody, make sure we're all focusing in the right way. Brickman, looking at things, tried to drop rush on those spikes, but like I mentioned earlier, if you drop rush, 
um, in a place that's not uh, where kind of Mega Man is, he'll just fly straight through it and ignore it. Akos, going for another try on the UFO section. Ooh, it looks like he's trying to catch Rush on the down, like uh, as he's falling almost. Brickman trying this a second time. You can see that spike ceiling that he's going to need to try to dodge, so he needs to. Oh. New information. Progress for Brickman. Game Fox moving up to the second area, doing another attempt to try to catch up to both Akos and QC. <laughs> you can't even keep up what's going on. There's a lot. There's there's a lot going on. There is definitely a lot going on. It's more of it's a more condensed type of Kaizo. I 100% agree. Ooh, QC getting the rush drop on the platform just a second too late, unable to make it up and over. Akos missing the rush drop similarly. QC going for another attempt. Let's see if he can get it. One, two. Oh, rush misses and falls all the way down. Uh, I created this level, yes, I, this is a level of my creation, I'm hoping that they can get it done uh, within about half an hour, Brickman, and I think Brickman's on pace to do that. Alright, so you see on Brickman's screen he dropped Rush on the platform, as soon as he drops Rush he needs to kind of do a slide of faith off the UFO, which will land him on Rush as Rush appears, and then from that point everything will kind of flow together. QC and Akos still working on this room. Now one thing that I was trying to do when I made uh, this stage was uh, bring a lot of the Kaizo players out of their comfort zone. Because, um, you know, a lot of the stuff they normally do is all charge kicks and oil slides and wind storms and even just intense regular platforming. So adding Rush into the mix. Oh, and it looks like as I'm talking as usual, uh, Akos finally makes it over, gets that E-Tank and the checkpoint and is moving now on to our, uh-oh, our tower climb. Let's see if the QC can catch up to keep the pace. I so far have not been paying attention to anyone's progress, so that's par for the course for me. Sorry, guys. Akos starting to get his feet wet in the tower climb. Brickman consistently able to get back to this section here where you've got to break the block. This little underhang changeover section. He's working out. I think he's got the gist of what's going on. Yeah. He knew exactly what's going on there. Went for that slide. Just rushed. Went a little too early and didn't land uh, on the platform. Uh, once you get to any of the sections where you break the blocks, there is plenty of opportunity to fall and still catch yourself and work your way back up. Uh, and because some of the puzzles, you know, half of them are just breaking those rush coil blocks, you, you can actually get back to where you were pretty quickly by just re-climbing back up. So it's not always, uh, it's not always good to reset if you uh, miss out on a jump or two. As long as you don't die, you can just try to find a footing and keep ascending. All right, QC, going for the fanboy one more time. Game Fox looks like he's consistently just, just, just barely missing that last jump get out of that first major section. I think probably the section that Brickman is on is one of the more 
I want to say, awkward sections. Um, it's definitely the tightest, probably. And it's not immediately obvious what to do just by looking at it, because you don't know how things are going to move and how things are going to feel. Uh, while, you know, Kelev says that the fanboy section is probably the hardest, I want to say that one little interaction there is very much the weirdest. Alright, so Eikos falling all the way back down to the bottom. He got a look at that rush coil block, kind of has an idea of what he needs to do. Game Fox trying to get out of this one more time. Can he do it? Ooh, nope. Over to Brickman, taking another attempt. Drops Rush, on Rush, gets up onto the bombs, making progress now. So he's got to follow those keys. We're going to go to the left, shoot another Rush Coil block. Oh. Alright, so you saw the Rush Coil block there up on the right. He's got to go to the left, shoot the block. In bouncing off Rush to shoot the block, all the bombs beneath him will respawn. So he will land on fresh blob, bo bombs, fresh bombs, fresh bombs then head all the way over to the right, head up, and then he's pretty much home free after that. Very, very close to first shotting that for Brickman. Alright, Brickman looks like he's got a solid idea of what he's doing now. He's going to go up to the left. Be very careful. Alright, so he's got to shoot that. All your bombs are back. Going to the right. Got to get Rush on this. Well, Brickman could have very much salvaged that. All the bombs were still uh, were respawned under him. So, little quick trigger finger there with the reset. QC trying to looks like he's trying to drop rush on the wrong platform. I don't know if that was just an accident. Game Fox still struggling with that second half of the first section. Brickman making another attempt at the bomb climb. Here we go. Over to the left. Gonna shoot out that rush coil block. Come down back to the right. You don't want to step on both of those blocks at the same time. Ugh. Rush wasn't cooperating there at all. Uh, Akos getting the cheese jump, realizing that's not going to help him because he needs that flapjack to be spun over in order to progress. Progress? Progress? Progress. I, I think this level is mostly cheese proof, other than that little damage boost that uh, QC was able to do, which is largely harmless. Brickman going back up to the bomb section. Falling down, looking for something place to land besides just to reset instead QC uh, still struggling to get rush in place game Fox going for another attempt oh Bonks's head falls down to his death Uh, Davey, you commenting in chat, he hopes this is the last section, because this is hell. That's what it was designed to be. So good. That means our Kaizo King is also in that last section. And here we go, Brickman making it up, has this little ladder he needs to get to. It's actually a lot easier than it looks, but it's just kind of intimidating. you got two options, left or right here. Uh, Brickman going to the left. And uh, let's see what happens to Brickman. So this is an intentional, this is a troll reset. This is not actually the start of the level. He is at the end. There is one trick left. Let's see if he realizes he doesn't need to keep going. Okay. There we go. Sees the hints. Brickman on his way to the finish. Just has to make this one last jump. Doesn't quite get it. Brickman is one rush coil away from victory. And he has rescued the snake and taken first place. Sub 30 minutes. Brickman, I believe, has finished first. Uh, unless Davey has spoke, 
done something in uh, the recent couple of seconds. Let's see if we can reload up Davey on uh, Brickman's screen here. Brickman is, in fact, first place. <laughs> Davey heading up once again onto the bombs. Can he clinch it out? Here it comes. Second place. Do we have our second place finisher? Up on the... Awkward pause. Okay. Up on the first block. Rushes down. Over. All right. One last jump. One last jump. Can he? And he makes it. Which way is he going to go? Left or right? He's going left. And now let's hope he doesn't rage quit. Or rage reset here. Again at the fake start. He's going to go over to the right. Hopefully he sees all the sparkling and all the shrimp and all the everything. Yeah. And he's in the final room. All he has to do... <laughs> You, uh, <laughs> da Davey with the what? <laughs> Standing there, all you have to do is land. Find a safe place to land with that energy element, and Davey is complete. There we go, he knows what's going on. You gotta get that snack. Snack shows you the way. Follow the snack. And, oh, jumping a little late. You have a couple seconds standing on those closing uh, doors there before you fall. So all you need to do to make that last jump is drop rush, wait about half a second, and then you can take to the air just like that. And with that, I'm pretty sure we have Davey in second place. Congratulations, Davey. <laughs> I, don't, I think Davey was fooled. I think Davey thinks that it's the same room as the start. I, b I believe Davey is under the impression that that was a dev exit right at the start. So, so someone let him know so he doesn't feel like he wasted his time. <laughs> and it looks like QC finally made it out of the fanboy section. He's got to deal with this big guy here. He's going to take the fight to him the hard way. Hopefully he doesn't... QC, don't die. QC just abandoning there. Dodging the E-Tank. Grabbing the checkpoint. Going back to full life. <laughs> so, for anyone wondering, there is no uh, actual dev exit. Uh, it's a clone room. Uh, the, very first, the start of it uh, doesn't have the, those doors on the side. Uh... Brickman, how long did it take me to make this level? Um, I started, I posted the first playtest at the start of June. So I made it in May, and I've been kind of working on it since then. So Kelev did a bunch of checks through it. We changed a couple of things. <laughs> uh, let me just talk to uh, Davey here. <laughs> confirm that there is no dev exit. <laughs> Alright, looks like we lost Davey again for audio purposes, so we're gonna find... I don't know, who can we get audio from? Let's... Let's go go investigating. Um, oh, meanwhile, Akos, I just noticed Akos had, in fact, gotten to the uh, the restart room. Let's let's listen. Actually, let's listen in on Akos and see what he uh, he thinks about all this. Yeah, yeah I'm, pretty I'm pretty sure, sure that the, 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 the first screen is actually waiting down here. It's just the thing. So, so we, we, we couldn't have actually, this isn't actually, actually it's, it's just a recreation of the first screen was just open and that. At least that's, that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> and if I could get <laughs> one last rush jump, that's all I need is one last rush jump. <laughs> can I just fucking grab that there and just fucking, hold up. 
Can I grab that without transitioning the screen? Is that a thing? Hopefully you guys can hear Akos here. Nope, nope, no, 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 no